It can happen in a matter of seconds. As a matter of fact, uh, just about uh, two and a half, three months ago, I went through some of the training with our heroes that, uh, that fight these wildfires, and they were showing us exactly how quickly they can uh, deploy one of these shelters. Something important to know also is they train around the year. I mean, constantly they're training with these shelters, and this is a worst-case scenario. It's one of those situations they do not want to use one of these shelters, but I did have an opportunity to, uh, to tag along, like I mentioned, as they trained for some of these incidents. Every person fighting wildfires wears this instant shelter pack. They only use it if they're trapped with flames approaching. And you may only have 30 seconds tops to do this That's correct. and deploy this? That's correct. That's stressful. That's stressful. It's a firefighter's last line of defense. Now. Creating a tight seal is key. Well, we're making sure that this is as tight around that the wind can't blow it off of him. This extremely hot, extremely uncomfortable. It can top 200 degrees inside a shelter, even with 1,200 degree flames outside. The feeling a firefighter must have to deploy this is, I can't imagine what it would be like. You would stay in there until you were told to come out. It could be minutes, it could be hours, depending on the fuel type you're in. While some firefighters have walked away after using a shelter, others have been burned. It may save my life and it may not. And that's really the key here. These shelters are, are the last resort, yeah. not necessarily a life-saving measure. I mean, certainly they're, they're meant if, if a fire is sweeping over them in, in rapid succession, they just kind of throw that on there, and they're going to protect them from the, the sort of worst burns. But yeah. if, it's a, if it's a fire that stays over them for a period of time, I would guess it probably doesn't help you as, as much as you would like it to. Well, actually, the 19 firefighters that were found, they had, they had deployed this mm -hmm. and they had it on, and that's what so scary about the situation that this is the last resort. Yeah, and, you know, I'm just going to go ahead and take this out. I want, want to give you an idea of what it looks like. But you pull, pull the ring to open, and uh, this one is a little bit different than you saw in the story there. And, but you get the concept. You mm -hmm. understand this shelter, it goes over you, and it's not meant to, to stay in for long. This yeah. is just uh, something to buy you some time, really. And Until knowing... someone can get to you exactly. to give you some help, right? Yeah. And knowing that our 19 heroes uh, died deploying their shelter and just deploying the shelter alone, I've talked to these fire crews, is in and of itself extremely stressful. Mm -hmm. It's a scary time. It's unfortunate that we're even here talking about this, but mm -hmm. these are meant to buy you time, but it's, it's not always going to save lives. And, mm -hmm. and